another video this is for what i said and well if you for out of well for context reasons go watch part zero that's where i basically explain the format for the video and how everything is going to be and so let's just get into it for the what if naruto what if the um, what if the uzumaki clan had a dojitsu now we have to go back first to where we have Nagato. Nagato's eyes get pulled out, of course, and we're still replaced with the Sharingan. Of course. Oh, no, I mean not the Sharingan. The running on. The running on. Sorry, I said I said um Sharingan by accident. Sorry. Uh, get replaced with the um, running on still. And now for Whirlpool. Of course, the nations that were attacking Whirlpool, they they would have a very difficult time as. Whirlpool and its dojitsu and its ninjas are really powerful. Not only that, really good sensory type abilities. So they must have some like S S minus S S plus type beat spies or whatever, you know. So the whirlpool would get destroyed, but a purport like a good portion of it would be in the leaf village as those are the remaining as the leaf village would expand their land making a sector a section for of course the uzumaki clan now karin is a cousin to Naruto. Well, they're, 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 they're family anyways but um karin's more of a cousin to naruto in this case even though like every uzumaki look um every uzumaki is uh yeah whatever Anyways, when the nine tail, well, yeah, she is a cousin based in Naruto and all that, yada yada. And when the nine tails attacks, all right, we have Ichiha and uh, of course the Uzumaki clan helping out to take down the nine tails. Well, the nine tails attack because well Obito, um, well doing or whatever you know. Now you may be wondering, can I think Shishina does he go to Jitsu? on obito of course she did have the life the um the, like the life essence to stay alive after getting the nine tails pulled out of her but she would like remember when she did you was like the like almost up all of her chakra just to do the admini admantine whatever ah sorry the chains the admantine chains i'm gonna say that remember she like remember that yeah basically that so for her, in that situation, she was not able to do it. And so, Naruto, he would have got the nine tails soothed inside of him by Minato. Of course, Minato and Gushina would still get together, of course, in this what if. Now, for Naruto's lifestyle, no, was, the only people that would really treat him good is Ichiraku and the Uzumaki clan in general, as Naruto is still family to them. And just because um, he's nine tails, like, Gushina was nine tails, like, bruh. So usually, Nar well Naruto he gets trained with his dojutsu, of course. He actually gets he gets trained, you know, all that by the um, by his well the Uzumaki, and he lives with he lives by himself, but he well, visits Karin sometimes, you know, visits her and you know, stuff like that. Yeah. Now, for well Sasuke in his case, yeah he. I got to see, he got to see his family still, yada yada, Uchiha Massacre, boom, bam, bam, bop, bada, bop, boom, pow, boom. Anyways, for Naruto's life within the academy, he would have been a, he would be pretty smart, no cap, he got the IQ, the IQ to surpass Sasuke. He would become one of the top students. Now, we be wondering, but in your zero, in your um, part zero, when you're explaining everything, you said that, like, because Naruto has yellow hair, he's not going to have, like, a full thing. But, I forgot. To explain to you guys because I didn't have a script I forgot to explain to you guys that basically Naruto's case he's special because of Ashura and now Ashura is basically he basically kind of from the Uzumaki clan whatever yada yada because his bloodline and all that his Naruto's dojutsu is more powerful even than if you have red hair because of he's Ashura's reincarnation that's why anyways so Naruto 
he would have been one of the top students in this class, no cap, you know, sure and all that. But let's just go to the first high school, Naruto and Sasuke. It would have been, well, it's just no little Naruto, little Sasuke, you know. Haruzen would, no, not Haruzen. Ah, uh, dang it, I forgot his name. He would then tell Sasuke and Naruto to go up as it's time for their sparring match. And so, they then do the unison symbol, whatever, and start the match. Now, Naruto, not being such a depressed little boy and all that, and actually getting trained by his, actually getting trained, he would have been able to easily beat Sasuke. As he's like, be he has the power to outrank any other Uzumaki. Now, for Naruto's chakra control, he is able to use. He doesn't use his dojutsu to like take the karma chakra or anything like that because of the steel and all that, you know. But he is able to, of course, like the stop, stop the, the top karma from messing up his chakra flow. It's like some type of like reverse stop chakra move with his dojutsu, you know. But basically, he's make he's stopping Kurama from even touching his own chakra. And um, yeah, no, with Naruto and Kurama's situation, I just when Naruto he was actually able to encounter the Nine Tails younger, so he actually knows he's a Nine Tails in Cherokee, and why people are calling him a demon earlier. He doesn't talk to the Nine Tails that much because the Nine Tails is pretty. Eh, kind of grumpy, not, not like antisocial. Tries to find his way to mess with Naruto in, in any way possible. He would mess with Naruto, of course. Now, Naruto, yeah, let's just do a time skip to uh, Academy. This is where the Shadow Clone uh, Jitsu, yeah, Naruto, he, he's smart and all, but yeah, he, yeah, he's just smart. He's smart and all, but like, child, when it comes down to hand signs, oh my goodness, bro. He is a straight goat, bro. He goes, da, 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 boom. Five shadow clones in the room. People were amazed at Naruto's, like, how fast he can do the hand signs. Like, his his IQ, man. His IQ. But Sasuke, he kind of, he, he's still jealous of the line. As not only he, Naruto still has a clan for himself. And he actually has people like loved ones and everything else like that Naruto, Naruto, Sasuke he's pretty pissed no cap so Naruto he would pass you know and he would go outside Sasuke is like legit walking over heavily walking over to Naruto but Mitsuki would block Sasuke and Mitsuki would start talking to Naruto because Naruto passed and because Mitsuki has failed at attempts to Try to make him fail. Of course, Naruto. Well, Mizuki. This is he's he's like gonna lash off. Hey Naruto. Um, yeah, Mizuki Sensei. You know, you, you can become a you can rank up to become a tuning level ninja if you do this one thing. You know that, right? But it's a secret. A secret? No. Wait. There's no way. I haven't seen it in any of the data books. That's kind of sus. But. You sure? Yeah, that's how I became a ninja. I mean, a tuning level ninja too. When I in my old days. Um, so what do you do? What do you, what do you have to do? Oh, easy. You're supposed to steal. The, you're supposed to steal the scroll of sealing, of course. You were able to hang out with Haruzen for a bunch of times because um, for Fukage and all that. Well, no, because Minato and all that. Well, what, what did I say for Kage for? What do you mean? Uh, 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 yeah. You were able to hang out with Haruzen time to time because Minato or whatever, yeah. Because you didn't know who you're. Hey, Naruto, he knows who his father is and his mother. Easy dub because um, his clan, you know? Clan Haruzen backing him up and all that. Anyways, he was like, yeah, um, about my dad and all that. But like, um, yeah, okay. Just do the scroll stealing and give it back to me in the forest, alright? Um, oh, oh, okay. Alright. Now, Mizuki would leave and Sasuke would then approach Naruto. Telling Naruto to fight me right here and right now, Naruto. Sasuke, oh, Naruto, like, um, Sasuke, are you sure? Like, I, I do, 
like I do really I really do outclass you. I'm not gonna cap. Even with your famous Sharingan that people fan over about. My Dojutsu is probably one of the power well, my clan's one one of the most powerful clans that's like legit the branch and like brothers to the Senju clan. As are Marcel I, I, I don't care. Fight me right here, right now. No dojutsus. So then a fight would break out. Um Well people people have been watching from boys to girls to adults and even a Kakashi sensei. You know? Watching over to see what's this fight going about about and probably thinking Eh, should I step in though? I'm not sure. Anyways, you will then see Naruto and Sasuke do the unison symbol using hand sign, of course, and then begin. Sasuke would do a quick hand sign, trying to impress, well, trying to get, well, get over Naruto's speed. He would do a quick hand sign doing the fire style cartoon. Go boys, ah, a cartoon. Um, I, I want to say, but I'm gonna I'm mess it up really bad. So I'm gonna say fire style jutsu. He would do, then do the fire style jutsu, fireball, fire style jutsu, and then he would launch it at Naruto. Naruto dodging this easy, but then Sasuke would have a barrage of fireballs flying over to Naruto, of course. And then he would go in and try to kick Naruto, and then do a flame like a uh, well fire breathing flame throw, you know. But Naruto would easily dodge, dodge this. Necking Sasuke in the neck, of course, and then doing a leaf rising win that he has copied from a certain someone when watching them train. Now, this captures guys' interest. <laughs> someone that was able to actually do it without training? Hmm, interesting. Good try, Jitsu prowess, and is reading his opponent like a book. Hmm. Interesting, really interesting, I'm not gonna lie. Anyways, so then, Naruto, he would easily take down Sasuke with a Uzumaki barrage. Now, this would capture Mizuki's attention, as he's kinda, he's kinda far, but he can see the fight breaking out. Now, Mizuki's kinda wondering, shoot, if Naruto boys for guess this far? But you gotta be careful. It's, uh, it's alright. I'll kill him anyways. So anyways, Sasuke would be humiliated and beaten, and Naruto would leave. At night, Naruto would sneak out of his house, of course, as we, of course, you got guards everywhere. He doesn't want to get caught. Sneak out of his house, of course. Being able to hide his presence due to the, the Uzagon, the Uzumagon, the Uzumagon. He was able to use his Uzumagon to hide his presence. That even a top god tier sensory type B ninja can even sense, even his own clan. He was able to escape and find his cool ceiling. Well, Naruto is basically waiting for him. He decided to read it and learn the clone jutsu. The Momochi style clone jutsu, of course. And so then, Mizu would arrive and say, Hey, Naruto, you come in clutch. All right, Naruto, you're just you're just really dumb, aren't you? Huh? I know you've progressed really far within your life, being able to not only beat Sasuke, but smart enough to even when I give you the wrong test, you're something else, Naruto. But today you're gonna die. I already knew that music you sensei. That's why I warned her. That's why I warned Haruzen about you. So then, Haruzen, when Dad used his Sage monkey pole pinning down, of course, Mizuki and then Haruzen and some Uzumakis would pull up. And like, okay, I see, bro. We're gonna clap. No, hold no, no. Whoa, bro. He, he, he were for Orochimaru. Whoa, chill out. No, whoa, whoa, my sorry, my phone fell on my um, my mic piece, whatever. Yeah, anyways, so then. Uh, Mizuki, Mizuki Sensei would have gotten put in prison, and um, yeah. So now, if I wasn't thinking, Naruto, saying, if you didn't tell us this, well, you didn't tell us that um, Mizuki is planning to take the school ceiling, then we would have never known that, we would have never known that 
Orochimaru, he was working for Orochimaru because Orochimaru has tried to steal the scroll ceiling multiple times before. And we had success fighting him off. Of course, to the Uzumaki clan. Thank you, Naruto. No problem, Hiruzen. So then, Naruto would leave. And he would go to bed. Now, when he would go to sleep, he would then meet with Kurama, of course. Kurama would be like, mm, you should rely more on me than just the uh, power in general. You know, when you're fighting that Sasuke Uchiha boy earlier. I don't know if I can rely on your power, to be honest, Ninetales. But I really do want to become your friend. But you just have to allow me. Please stop. Not only that, I gotta wake up every day just to use my do my my Uzumagan just to stop you from messing up with messing with my chakra flow. And it's hard for me whenever I have to do training because I also have to focus on you and stop you from doing whatever you want within your little cage, you know. So yeah, that's the little talk with Nam's Karama and well yeah. It would in order to wake up and head over to the academy as now it's the next day and naruto is really pumped as he's now waiting for his future sensei the person that's going to be training him and teaching him for the rest of his well ninja life basically yeah um uh, how he's well yeah basically that then teams would have been coming out one by one by one until it's just three people of course Sakura Haruno, Sasuke Uchiha, and Naruto Uzumaki. Now, they would have been waiting at least an hour. So, Naruto getting bored enough that he was about to leave the room, but then Kakashi would then appear within the. well, would, would open the door and appear. The Team 7 would have been screaming at Naruto, well, screaming at Kakashi, saying, What are you doing so long? What are you doing? And why you're late? And now, so Kakashi's surprised that uh, he's actually having that Naruto boy that he saw fight earlier yesterday. Um, like the skill that he saw from this Naruto boy. Now he knows that he shouldn't be holding back. So then, so Kakashi would take everybody up and tell them to go upstairs to the rooftop. Once they arrived, Kakashi would then explain that, all right, we're going to be explain we're basically going to be explaining our ideals and passions and who you are. Uh, I'll give you an example. Hi, my name is Kakashi Sensei. Uh, I don't, what I don't like, I'm not going to tell you. What I do like, it's none of your business, to be honest. And what I want to do and what I want to be is nothing in general that you need to know, to be honest. Anyways, so then, Naruto would go up first. Naruto would then say that, my name is Naruto Uzumaki. And I want to become the next clan head of the, of the Uzumaki, the Uzumaki clan. Well, the, I want to become the next clan head or Hokage for the, my Uzumaki family to become a become the first Uzumaki to become Hokage within the village. Even though our brothers are to the Senju clan and all that. Then Sakura would go. My name is Sakura Haruna. Ah, uh, what I like, um, well, I like to spend time with, well, uh, someone special. What I don't like is noisy brats trying to hit on me almost every time. And also, I don't like... I don't think I should say it, but... Yeah, I'm scared. Scared. Scary. So then, Sasuke would go up next and say, My name is Sasuke Uchiha. I have a goal. This goal is going to become a reality. I want to kill a certain someone. My likes... Of course, eating at Ichiraku with some hot spicy, hot spicy ramen, you know, some chicken, you know. What I don't like is my brother. Now Kakashi would be thinking, Ah, uh, Atachi. Hmm. There's some family affairs that he has to figure out. So then Kakashi would then say that because there's still time in the day and the team five is done with the field for today we'll be bringing you out to the training field we're going to be doing the bell test of course now team seven be like what's the bell test though the bell test hmm, how should i explain it to you guys well 
You guys are going to be taking part in the bell test. If you feel the bell test, then I'll send you back to the academy because this will be showing you, showing me that you don't have the skills to actually do this. So then, well, there's two bells, of course, and two need to get it to pass. And so then, the class should then be sitting down for a book and then saying, well, counting down, of course. When you get to one, Sakura and Sasuke would jump into some bushes with Naruto and Long with him. With them, of course. And so then, Naruto would say, Why would you say that only two people can pass? But well, there's only, every, in every ninja squad, there's at least three people. That doesn't make any sense. Think about it. So now, Naruto's thinking that it's probably teamwork. Sasuke Sakura, believe me on this. Just trust me, come on. I think it's teamwork. He's trying to bait us. He wants us to work together for us to get the bells. Because... You ever seen a team with two people? Uh, no. Yeah, no, I've never seen that. Exactly. We have to use teamwork for this. All right. Uh, okay. I I guess. Okay. Anyways. So then, Team Seven, they would have then gotten ready to attack. Of course, they've already explained the plan, and this is the plan. Well, you just hear it play out. Sasuke would first jump out. Doing a shadow clone to distract Kakashi as the town disappear will then disappear using the smoke in front of Kakashi. He then charge. He then do some hand signs, making a fireball jutsu and sending it at Kakashi. Sakura would then punch the ground, making it rumble. Of course, with Naruto jumping within the air and stopping all flow within Kakashi, but then within within Kakashi with his Uzagan, with Uzumagan. But then, Kakashi would then turn to smoke, as that was actually a clone. And then the real Kakashi would then pop out. Well done. You're able to take down my clone. <coughs> Are you able to take down the real thing? Naruto, he would then this do it again, disabling Kakashi's chakra flow. So he would not be able to use his fist. Or in a chakra fist or any substitution jutsu. Kakashi would feel this and he would like, I can't move. Ugh. Well, no, he can't move, he can't move his chakra, he can't move chakra into like any fist or anything like that. So then Sasuke would then come over. Kakashi, he outclasses Sasuke in Tai Jitsu, but Sasuke was somewhat able to keep his ground enough for Sasuke. Almost said Sasuke. Sasuke again for Sakura to come in and land the blow off in the ground then Kakashi into the air now Kakashi isn't able to properly land but his chakra would have then been able to flow again and he would do a quick landing hurting his leg bottom as he has just activated chakra in time to not take some severe damage from flying into the sky and land back onto the ground and so then Naruto would rush up Kicking Kakashi in the stomach, taking the bells, and then doing an Uzumaki barrage on Kakashi, sending him flying into a tree, and then giving the two bells to Sakura and Sakura and Sasuke. And so then he would tell Kakashi, "We win." Kakashi would then say, huh, "Good job. You're able to figure out that it's teamwork about this. Good job. You guys pass tomorrow because we're supposed to do it tomorrow." Of course, you guys have a break day, so you guys are able to train or eat or do whatever you want, because I do not care. Alright, good night, good, nice job, Team 7. See you tomorrow. And so, Kakashi, he would then body flicker away and start talking to himself. Damn. That Naruto kid, the Uzumaki kid, he's powerful, real powerful. I bowed the Uzumaki before with the Dojitsu of red hair but it's odd his power it's like i'm not sure if he's doing enhanced chakra fist it doesn't feel like it at all but different from a red haired uzumaki with their full powered uzumaki he does more damage to me somehow of course he's getting trained by them but it feels different of course whatever he's doing to me it's confusing i must study him a bit more and so, Naruto, he would be going back to the Uzumaki compound. He couldn't meet up with 
uh, he would meet up with some friends, you know, and um, get Kier. Oh my goodness, I almost said Kieran, the um, the Jitsu. But uh, yeah, he was meeting with some friends and all that, and yeah, and so now Naruto, he is going back to his. Well, you can't. Can you say apartment? No, it's not an apartment though. Um, he would go back to his apartment to be surprised by Kieran with the Maki. My phone fell on my mic piece again. Sorry, I'm really great. I'm really sorry. So he did me meet by here in Uzumaki, and well, it would it would surprise Naruto, of course. That well, it would, yeah, it would surprise Naruto, and so Kira, she would ask, "Hey, Naruto, you gonna be free tomorrow? Cause I am. Cause we already did our little training session, or whatever. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm gonna be free tomorrow. Oh, great." We can probably go to um, training tomorrow, or we can go eat by Jiraku, you know? Sure, I'm done. And so, the next day, Naruto, he would do exactly what Karin said. Well, Karin did say they would train, then go eat, and then hang out for a bit until Karin would leave. Now, it's still sunny within the day. It's all, well, if I say within the day, it's bad, bad grammar. It would, it would still be sunny. So, Naruto would decide to. Mm, I guess I'll, I'll train to them more, you know. So then, he would then be going out to the training field, seeing a, another team sh well, do their little, um, egg, well, their, how you say it? Their bell test, of course. So, Naruto, he would have to leave the area, but then he would trip, knocking his head onto a tree, because, you know, Naruto's still clumsy. He got that Deku vibes, you know. Aha, uh aha. -huh, uh -huh. Anyways, he would trip and enter his mindscape on accident. He'd be talking to the nine tails and be like, uh, what happened? You tripped. <coughs> you tripped. Are you coughing, nine tails? I'm not coughing. I have something in my throat. But you tripped and knocked your head. You're not unconscious or anything, but I sent you to my mindscape. The mindscape, of course. You have great power, but... You should be using my power instead. Take a take a look at my shoes. Um But you're probably gonna try to break out though. I don't think I'm gonna use your power to be honest. And can you please stop bringing me here, Karama? Like I I'm asking you nicely. Like can you stop? But Karama would be like, come on, just use my power. Use my power woo, to be stronger than everybody else within this village. Naruto, being pretty skeptical, he would then use his of he uses Uzumagan, try to take some chakra from Karama. This would fail, but he was at least able to get enough chakra to have the QB eyes. Of course, the QB eyes, the uh, like body body cloak, no tail, but QB eyes. He was able to get enough chakra to at least have that in his arsenal. Well, thanks, Karama. I'm pretty skeptical that you're gonna probably, gonna probably gonna try to break out. So, I'm just doing this for precaution. I'm sorry. I mean, nine tails, nine tails, nine tails, yeah, nine tails. I'm just gonna, yeah, never mind. <sighs> Anyways, then Naruto, he would wake, get up and leave, of course. He would then go back home and he would this, you know, do so whatever, you know? And cause like he 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 well he, he would eat some ramen cause like he got some pack ramen in his house you know, and that's where I'm gonna end it here to be honest. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And uh, yeah, tomorrow tomorrow well next video is going to officially be the last. Well, I'm not sure, but I'm gonna make sure it's the last part to what if Naruto. I didn't uh, it's the last part. To what if Naruto uh, was neglected but overpowered? Probably, because I want to be last part when I get it over with. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe for more notifications. And yeah, thanks for watching.